physics was broken. Newton's laws said that if you chase a beam of light, it should slow down relative to you. But the universe said, no. Michelson and Morley proved that light doesn't care how fast you're moving. It's always 300,000 kilometers per second. While every other scientist was panicking, trying to find an invisible ether to explain it, a 26-year-old patent clerk named Albert Einstein did something radical. He stopped looking for a mistake in the experiment and started looking for a mistake in reality itself. Einstein threw out the rule book and replaced it with just two pillars. The laws of physics are equal for everyone. No one is stationary. The speed of light is the only constant. It's the cosmic speed limit and it never, ever budges. But there's a catch. If the speed of light is a constant, speed equals distance divided by time, and the speed cannot change, then distance and time must. Imagine a clock that works by bouncing light between two mirrors. If that clock zooms past you at near light speed, the light has to travel a longer diagonal path to hit the mirrors. Because the light can't go faster to make up the distance, the only way for the math to work is if the clock itself slows down. To Einstein, time wasn't a universal heartbeat. It was a flexible fabric. If you move faster, your time literally ticks slower than the person standing still. In one stroke, Einstein murdered the absolute time of Newton. He turned the universe from a rigid machine into a flexible masterpiece called relativity. But if time can stretch, what happens to matter? What happens to energy? Next time, we will look at the most famous equation in history. Einstein isn't done yet. <laughs>